everybody. I am Lara and welcome back to Confident Notions. So, um, wow, there are way more of you here than there were before. So welcome. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So for those of you who know, I do mostly haul videos nowadays, lots of Dollar Tree haul videos, some other random videos. Um, I'll get into a little more later. We started off kind of as like an unboxing channel and it's kind of gotten away from that, but I have way more views on the things that aren't not, the things that are hauls. So we just might stay down that path. So today, look, my, my, let's be honest, my, um, uploading schedule is not the greatest. So we'll just say I went to the Dollar Tree today. <laughs> I could tell you what day it was because when I post this like four weeks later and you're like, that's past. Look, it's fine. So I did go to the Dollar Tree today and I went to a different one, one that I usually don't go to. We headed up to the town like above us. So we headed up to Wake Forest to do, um, I purchased something off of Facebook Marketplace and I needed to go pick it up. And I took my daughter with me and poor child has not been into a store in nearly two months. And she's getting a little slap happy. So I mean, it's not like she doesn't get out of the house, right? She goes outside, she plays in the backyard. Um, We've gone to a strawberry picking patch. We've gone um, to the strawberry picking patch, but she hasn't been inside a store in a long time. So she was like, mommy, can we go to the Dollar Tree? And I said, well, I guess baby, yes we can. So I'll post a picture in here. She did wear a mask. She left it on most of the time, so she was pretty good about it, but I didn't have a kid's mask and gotta be a little careful because when we put it on, it covered her whole face. So. What you gonna do? But um, in that Dollar Tree, I saw things that I had never seen in any other Dollar Tree before, ever. And they had like a better book selection and they had all kinds of other stuff that I'd never seen before. And I'm like, why are you all so damn different? It's literally like 10 miles difference between one Dollar Tree and the other. And, and it's like freaking night and day and I don't understand it. And I'm gonna apologize for the state of my nails right now. I just took off my polish. And it makes me sad. I did get a text message on Mother's Day from my nail lady and she's like, happy Mother's Day. I miss you. And I'm like, girl, I miss you too. <sighs> I'm not responsible for my own nails. Anyways, let's get into it. So I did want to go ahead and do this one today because my daughter was with me. There were some things that she picked out that she wanted. And but poor child has been out in a while. I was like, yeah, baby, you can have whatever. So I'm going to go through and do that. And I'll show you some of the new things I have. And taking a look at this pile, it looks like this is more than one video. So enjoy. Okay, first thing up here, I showed it in the thumbnail, but I finally found some of the eyeglass case holders. And so I picked up the four cutest ones that I saw because they don't have any of these in my Dollar Tree. And I've been looking. So reason being is I have sunglasses. I have a lot of sunglasses. Sometimes I'm not the greatest about putting them in the case. So I like to keep these. I don't have reading glasses or glasses glasses or anything like that, but um, because I had Lasix like many years ago. So, but I am thinking though too, so I do, um, I was running, is, am running, depending on when I post this, uh, the 300 subscriber video. And after that, I have an idea for another giveaway. So an upcoming giveaway. Um, I don't need four of these, but the first one I picked up is the one with the slots on it. Isn't this adorable? Right. And so all of these have this, um, uh, this like metal closure in it and it looks like pinches open and you can put your glasses inside here but somebody had some really good ideas too like if you want to put your id or things in there and like take it to the beach i don't know if i'm going to the beach this year got some other life updates that i may or may not have posted yet but i haven't made that video yet but coming soon anyways i thought this was a freaking adorable so i picked up this one with the sloth on it then this one here with the cacti so stinking time like I don't know I feel this is very much like in and I know the Dollar Tree they fall into like okay there, there's like 10 seven things that are really popular right now sloths unicorns succulents flowers llamas let's put them on everything and let's mix them up but this one here I don't know I just I think this pattern is just really pretty um so with the cacti on it and the little flowers so that is adorable the next one, speaking of llamas, oh, look at that. How cute is this? The llamas with the, um, 
with the cacti and the sitting down llamas and the standing llamas. Oh, adorable. And the gray background. So nice. And these are all imported by Greenbrier. So I, I don't know if they just haven't gotten to my stores yet or everybody bought them. Who knows? And then the last one is this with the random llama on here with the cacti. I still have to research. I just don't feel that llamas are indigenous to the areas where cactus grow. And I could be wrong, but I feel they look like this is a llama or an alpaca, given the, the little thingy on it, like in the mountains of Peru. And I don't feel that there are cactus in Peru. I could be completely wrong. I have a business degree and an art history degree. I can't tell you about anything other than that. I don't know about geography. I didn't take that class, but I feel that they don't go together. Who knows? If you know, put it down in the comments. Be like, girl, yes, there are llamas in Peru. There are cactus in Peru where the llamas are. I'd love to know. Love to know. Okay. Speaking of llamas, I usually don't get wind chimes, but would you look at this one? Look at this. How stinking cute is this? llama alpaca i'm sure i can't remember the way to tell the difference between the two but would you look at this and it's got this little glass ball thing in it and the little chime ah yeah i usually don't get like outside art stuff like to hang but i thought this was so flipping adorable for a dollar a dollar mm. okay put that one down let's see what else did we find? Um, I found this. And Morgan's not terribly filled with this, but I might save this um, for a giveaway or for some friend mail. Would you look at that? It's um, it's a sand kit. So like you can, at the beach or in your sandbox, you can take the dinosaurs and make like dinosaur bone looking stuff out of it. So I'm pretty sure that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. They did have another one that I think was a Brontosaurus. Remember, there are way more dinosaurs today than there were when Lara was in school. Why do I keep finding them? I don't know, but that's cool. Anyways, I was I couldn't reach the other one. It was super high on the top shelf and nobody could reach it. So I did just pick up this one. She saw that. I'm like, do you want this? And she's like, eh. I said, okay, fine. I'll, I might save this for some friend mail. Save that for later. Okay. So speaking of for my child, she saw these and wanted them. And it is also imported by Greenbrier, but this is a, um, what's it say? Just pretending dress up fun hair extensions. So it's a headband with all of this hair that comes down. And she saw it and she's like, oh, it's like the girl with long hair because the Rapunzel. Um, I'm slowly but surely trying to get her to watch something that's not Frozen or Daniel Tiger or Dora. I don't mind Dora so much. But I about had enough of Daniel Tiger. So I've gotten her to watch like the first 30 minutes of Tangled and the first like 30 minutes of Moana. So baby steps. So this is for the girl with long hair. So they had these in orange, green, and pink. I asked her which colors she wanted and she um she liked the orange, but she liked the green too. So for a dollar, I got her both of them. Totally fine. Totally fine. Then I picked her also up for Play-Doh. So this is the Frozen Mold and Make Anna from Softy Dough. And she saw this. She's, I got her, um, I did another like Facebook marketplace and I got her this like Anna doll that's like two feet tall and she's been carrying her around all over the place for the last couple of days. So anyways, so it's like a little mold and you can make Anna with the mold and then it comes with, oh, that's the rest of Anna. So it comes with the front and back pieces. So you can put her together and then just a little bit of play dough clay, which isn't nearly enough to make Anna, which is fine. So she has a bucket of play dough stuff. So that'll go in with that and we'll be good. The other thing that she, this isn't new, but she saw this and she's like, it's an orange ball. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I'll teach you how to play basketball. I'll play basketball. But she really wanted a basketball hoop. So I picked her up one of these basketball hoops. I think what I'm gonna do is I have some little hooky things like command strip hooks 
and I think I'll like hook it onto the wall or something and then we'll let her do a little basketball net hoopy thing so I'll do that I'm looking around to see what I want to do then the other thing that she really wanted that we picked up is this this unicorn headband and she really wanted it because of the red and she's like she's like I want the red one I said okay baby you can have the red one so I, look she's three what's she gonna do so she picked up that as well then um also in the party section and she wanted some lays again I think she just wanted the red lay so we got a package of lays as well look what's she gonna do she's three then she also now this was cute so they had a bunch of like pinwheel things and she really liked this one here um I was trying to talk her into another one that but that had like a flower in it but she really liked this one so she wanted this pinwheel so she picked out this one as well um that's cute so she picked up that one as well and I was like yeah that's fine whatever girl then I will show you these too the other pouches that I found and I was on the lookout for these I was so excited to find these ah this one this is how we roll this is what I wanted total wish list item I've been looking for this haven't found them again wish list item found that here um is any of these wish lists no not yet this other stuff is well the eyeglass cases so the eyeglass pouches those are wish list items and these ones here so I don't need all three of these again I'm thinking of an upcoming giveaway I'm thinking of like a stuff the pouch or something like that giveaway I was also thinking of like a the last days of quarantine don't go crazy so this one I picked up this is how we roll and I like this one because it's not like it's more fabric and again these are Greenbrier as well so it's it doesn't feel too plasticky so this is not like a wet bag but it's so cute then the other one was peace out which I thought was adorable um I thought oh I thought I bought the green so the, I thought I got the avocado one mm. the avocado one it just says I'm extra on it because you know guacamole is extra so oh, damn it I thought I got the guacamole one anyways um so yeah this will definitely go in a giveaway anyways because I, oh, I just want the sushi one and then the last one I got was this uh talk over the world so I bought all three of those. I was super excited to find those because they were definitely a wish list item for me. And then I also picked up, I've never seen this before, but this is Salon Selective's Damage Repair um, Aragon Oil Hair Treatment. Salon Selective's brand name, right? Every saw Salon Selective's used to wear the heck out of them back in the day. So I was... <clears throat> Excited to see this for the hair treatment. Let's see, it smells like Salon Selectives. Um, so I don't know. The other day I was looking at the bottoms of my hair and I'm like, oh gosh, I need a haircut. And before I chop off all my hair, maybe I'll do a hair treatment to kind of like help the ends not to look so bad. But it seems like it's getting really like it's too conditioned at the top and not enough at the bottom. So I picked up this and I think I'll just do the ends instead. Then last couple of things in this haul, but I definitely have enough for two. I'll just do the candy right here. So this here, I picked up these Hershey pretzel bites. She saw these, she's like, I want a snack, I want chocolate. And she's like, I want these Hershey pretzel bites. These again were another one of the things I was looking out for. Not necessarily wish list, but definitely looking out for. You can see this one is open because I busted it open and took a bite. These are delicious. I regret not buying all four packs they have and I restrained myself and only bought two mainly because I had to pee and anyways and then I also got her she got a pack of Reese cups and she's like we're riding home the reason why it's open because she had to on the car ride home but she's like I want the whole bag I'm like no girl you don't need the whole bag and nobody need the whole bag of Reese cups but these here these delicious delicious now granted I love chocolate covered pretzels anyways. Some Hershey products give me a stomach ache, some do not, these do not. They look like this and they are little balls of pretzel covered in chocolate. Freaking delicious. Get you some, I'm telling you. So, 
That's going to do it for this part of the haul. I'll be back in this same shirt with part two of this Dollar Tree haul because I did find some more cool stuff. So I'm going to keep filming. But in the meantime, I hope you all are staying safe and sane and healthy. Um, hopefully you have some stuff that's starting to open back up. We are here in North Carolina. Please, please, because I'm about ready to lose my mind. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you all are staying safe and sane and healthy. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all soon. Bye.